GGRC. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of GGRC. I'm RC and today we're going to be taking a look at doing a quick save review of Donut County. Now, this game came out, I would say, probably midway through last year and I hadn't played it up until now. Um, it was on sale recently at the Steam sale and I've been really uh, looking forward to checking this game out. Uh, it seemed really, really interesting and it seemed very casual. I always like a good casual game to sort of like break up, you know, sort of cleanse the palate before like bigger experiences and stuff like that. Um, just so you know, this game is available on Steam. You can use mouse or controller with it. Uh, and it is also available on your phone or iPad in case you, you like the look of this and you want to get it uh, to play there. Uh, it works great uh, no matter where you're playing it because uh, it's a very simple idea here. So the whole idea is that you're playing as BK, the, the raccoon here who's, who's in the garbage here, and uh, you play as Mira as well. And they are, uh, well, we'll say BK is sort of ruining the town and we'll get into that in just a second here. And Mira is sort of like trying to figure out what is going on. Um, but it's it's really funny. This is one of those games where I feel like because what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new game, and then I'm gonna skip around to different levels to show you guys, you know, what what uh, how the game works and everything like that. I want to give you a taste of the the storytelling and that kind of stuff along with how the levels work. Um, but I feel like right off the bat, this is a game that is going to really divide people because. I, th I think that uh, with the, the ease of play and the, the style of storytelling, a lot of people are going to dismiss this game as just a, a you know, this is just a, a indie whatever type game. You know, it's one of those, oh, it's one of those indie games. But guys, this game is a ton of fun. I, I love the personality of it. I love the characters. Uh, I love how silly it is. And it's a, a really fun game just to, to play for, you know, uh, three hours or so. Um, so anyway, let's jump right into it here. Let's start a new game. So you guys, like I said... Um, oh, this will overwrite my save. No, we don't want to do that. Actually, if we pick levels... Oh, okay, yeah, if we play here. So, we'll start at the very beginning here with Mira's house. So, here we are at Mira's house. You jump in, you see the cat there. And Mira's just kind of chilling with her dog, and BK sends her a message here. It's like, when are you coming into work? I'm bored. Um, so obviously you're communicating through your cell phone here, which is funny though, because you could send this duck emote. BK, I'll send it right back to you. I thought that was a lot of fun. Quiet BK, I'm dead, I've died. Please have some respect. So you're going to see them talk back and forth a lot saying LOL and stuff like that. Even when they're in person, you're, they're going to be, you know, saying LOL when they make a joke and that kind of thing. Um, she's saying that the honky man woke her up again at the honk of dawn. So BK saying that he'll revenge her. And she's saying, be careful, this guy really honks. <laughs> Come to the donut shop, whatever. Stop feeding your dog bread. So for some reason she feeds the dog bread, I don't know why. Certified loaf so it, it is the dog here. So you can see the dog eating bread in the background, which is kind of silly. All right, so you hear the guy honking out there. You got to pull the shades apart here. Open the latch and here we are. So this is the whole crux of the game. You can see in the top left, you got BK on his phone there. And we have this hole that we're controlling with our mouse. So you actually go around here and you drop things in the hole. So for those of you who are fans of Katamari, um, this game fits right into the rank of whatever type of game that is because it is just a fun, casual, get everything in the hole type of game. Even the title of the game. See you later, Donut County. And then when that happens, you can start getting the fence post here. You're going to see that the, the honking man here, the goose, on his little moped. What you want to do is try to get him in the hole. But you got to keep getting different pieces in your hole to get it bigger and bigger. And there we go. So now I think our hole is as big as it can get. You try to get this guy in here. Oh, he's got donuts. Let's get his donuts. There we go. We got him. So every time you fill... Uh, your hole up with everything you can in the level, the level moves on. And then we move on to the donut shop. So this is all the very beginning of the game. Um, and th this actually establishes what you're doing in the game here. So uh, they're talking back and forth. And one of my favorite things that BK talks about here is he talks about how he's almost level 10. And at level 10, he gets a quadcopter. And the quadcopter plays a very big part into uh, the whole story of this game. Send her a 
little emote there. You don't get it, Mira. At level 10, I earned my quadcopter. Very important. We're gonna buzz around like kings. <laughs> so then that ends, and it's been six weeks. And now we're at the very bottom. Well, I don't know if I want to spoil it for you guys, but we're, we're definitely at the bottom of something. We're trapped somewhere. She smashed his quadcopter for some reason. How could you destroy the entire town, BK? So here you go. 999 feet below Donut County. It says, I've never destroyed anything. I'm kind. Oh my god, what? <laughs> So basically, uh, what happens is the story unfolds through a campfire of everybody telling their different story of how the whole pretty much disrupted their house or, you know, their life by destroying their house and taking out everything that's around their house, which is really funny. BK keeps trying to claim that he's actually the victim in this case because his quadcopter got killed. Uh, so you got Potter here who's talking about how she's blaming BK because it's obvious that the hole was there destroying her house. Um... So now she's going to tell the story of what happened to her son. And when she goes to tell her story, it jumps into the next level. So I think that this is actually a... Like I said, the, the beginning of this game is a, a perfect um, example of like how this game works. Uh, what's cool, though, is that as it does go on, you do get uh, different abilities with the hole, too. Like, the, the level will offer you different things that you can do. Uh, and we'll get we'll get into one of those levels right after this one. I just want to show you guys like a, a bigger level here of some of the stuff you could do, which is a ton of fun. That box will not quite fit yet, will it? How about the suitcase, the skull? There we go. The skull's in. Suitcase is in. Now the box is in. There we go. Little by little, it gets bigger. See, he you'll see here, for example, with the hole, you'll be doing certain little puzzly things. Like, once you get everything in the hole here, actually, if you go up to her door, she'll shut the door. Because <laughs> she doesn't understand what the hell's going on. I'd be a little afraid, too, if I looked out and saw a hole just swallowing everything. There we go. We got all the pots. So now, at this point, you're like, where do I go? Well, there we go. He had to open the latch, and now we can actually head through this, this area here. And I, again, I, I love the characters. I, I love that the uh, characters that are watching your hole, their eyes dart back and forth. You actually see her son in the house there as we move the hole. He's watching through the window. Like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> What's going to happen? I, I showed this game to my wife, and she she didn't know how to take it because you actually go under... This, there you go. You go under the mom like that, the hole swallows her, <laughs> and she's gone. And my wife was like, why would you do that? Why are you doing that to these poor animals? I'm like, it's part of the game. It's just what you got to do. And I'm not doing it. BK's doing it. My, my wife was also upset that we were breaking <laughs> all of the pottery and stuff like that. But that's the whole thing. You were playing the part of a mischievous raccoon. That's the whole idea here. Let's see if we can get the kiln. There we go. So everything's breaking before you even get it down into the hole. Look at that, we got all those without any of them breaking. That's how you do it. So we're gonna go over here, and now he's in the hot air balloon trying to get away. So what we do now is we swallow this. This will show off one of the abilities you can do throughout the game. Uh, but if you swallow anything that's fire related, if we can get it in there, come on. Get in there. Maybe I gotta eat this stuff first. There we go, we just need to get a little bit bigger first. There we go. So now that we have smoke and fire coming out of the hole due to the the kiln being swallowed, we can blow up the hot air balloon and make him take off, which will help conclude the story here. And boom, there he goes. And now at this point, this is what is very reminiscent of uh, the Katamari games, is being able to swallow these gigantic rocks here. They just fall right in. But I gotta say, like, playing through this game, there, there's just something so, like, zen and nice about it, because there's not a whole lot of challenge to the game, to be quite fair. Um, there's a, a little bit of puzzly stuff you gotta figure out later on in the game, but it's it's never so hard that you can't really figure it out. But it's, it's nice to just, like, sit back, enjoy the dialogue and the silly story, and just watch everything fall into this hole. 
uh, you know, take pride in that you swallowed up somebody's life <laughs> in the hole here. There we go. We get this rock. And that's that story there. Now, what's funny is BK was talking about how he hit, needs to hit level 10. Every time you finish a level here, it'll actually give you this little XP bar to show you how close you are to rank 10, which is really funny. He also gets something called the Trashopedia. And in the Trashopedia, it tells you all the things you've swallowed up over the course of all the different levels. Uh, one of the other things I want to point out, though, is like how awesome I think the music is. Like this break music. The music throughout this whole game is like just silly, fun, and, and awesome. I, I absolutely love it. Probably some of my f favorite music in a game uh, in 2018, I would say. Uh, we're gonna actually jump out, let's see, to title screen. Uh, we're gonna jump a little further ahead. I'm gonna show you guys one more level here. As you can see, there are quite a few levels to pick from, um, but there's one specifically I wanna grab. Um, actually, I want to check out this one. Let's check out this one um, and show you one of the other weird things that this game does. So here we are. We have this, I, I think they're a moose couple <laughs> and they live together here. And they, they, they say they moved to the county here because they like watching the rabbits. And as you can see, it, at their home, there's a ton of rabbits. So what we got to do is we actually got to swallow all this stuff up, get the hole a little bit bigger. And believe it or not, this level had me just slightly stuck on it because it introduces something that you hadn't done before yet. And I thought, I was like, did, did something, did I do something wrong? What's going on? Am I in the, the wrong stage of the game? Uh, but no, it ended up I just wasn't doing the right thing, which I'll show you in just a second. So when your hole gets big enough, you can take this carrot and you can move this carrot around, which is kind of fun. And then you lure the rabbits down. And of course this rabbit wants to get a taste Come on, rabbit, get your get your carrot over here. There we go. Bump the carrot into his mouth. So you can see if you go around here, none of the other rabbits will actually jump down and get to you. But you'll see that there, besides this orange one over here, there's one blue one hopping around. Now, if we actually lure him over here, there's actually a little gate. And yeah, we'll just lure him out here. That way he'll also be able to enjoy a nice little carrot here. There we go. He gets a, a lion's share of the carrot there. But, I'm sorry, rabbits. Now it's time for you to get in the hole, I think. <laughs> there we go. Come on. There we go. Fall in. Oh, but with two rabbits in the hole, everyone knows what happens when, you know, rabbits get together. All right, so now at this part, we're going to be able to... Swallow all the fence stuff and the rocks. You get the rest of this here. And this rock, I guess, next? Yep. Two more rabbits. Way more love. And we got one more to go. Actually, that's not true. And even more love. So the funny thing about this is that it all ties into the couple that is... Oh my god, shooting rabbits everywhere! They multiplied. But this all plays into the couple that has moved here. They're, they're in love still. They've been together for 40 years. They moved here to, to look at the rabbits. So the whole crux of this level is that, like, you know, it's, it's about love. And uh, I thought that that was kind of cool that the story sort of plays into all that uh, with the silly rabbits and everything like that. All right, fall down. There you go. And that's that level. And we get our sweet victory music. It's such great victory music. I love it. I gotta love the Have a Garbage Day shirt. I, I Or rather, the Garbage Day logo. I'd, I'd love to have that logo on a shirt is what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. I don't want to show off too much more of Donut County because it is a relatively short game. Like I said, I think that it could be finished you know, in a three-hour window. Um, but in my opinion, it's really worth your time. Um, I think at iOS, it's only like five bucks. 
Um, so if, if this looks like a fun game to you, this is a great game. You know, you can play a couple levels a day, uh, just keep, you know, chipping away at it, or you can play it all in one sitting like I did, which <laughs> I, I do not regret one bit because I had so much fun with it. Um, but again, this is another game that is going to be a full recommendation for me. Um, obviously watch this, see if you like the art, see if you like the story, see if you like the characters, that kind of thing. There's many more jokes from the dialogue that's in this that we didn't even get to. Um, there's a lot more other like silly puzzles and, and silly scenarios with the, the hole that we didn't get to. Um, but a lot of that is just stuff you're going to have to discover on your own because I don't want to spoil it for you here. Um, but this is a, a delightful game, if I if I can say, because I, I, from from the dialogue and the characters and the personalities and the story and the colors and the, I, it's just everything about it is just like fun, which is what I like. I like fun. So <laughs> if it's fun, I'm in. Uh, but GG, everybody. I'll see you all next time. GRC.